What's going on, gangsters? Movie John here, and I'm coming to you from the movie room. Yes, the new movie room. The very first video I'm doing from the movie room, I got a few additions to the movie room, as I keep saying, movie room. But I got a new TV, yes. The new TV I got from my son, it's a Emerson. And it's a lot bigger than what I used to have in here. Well, just had for a few days. And I uh, got some new curtains to uh, put them up. Didn't have no curtains to begin with. I don't know why I said uh, new curtains like I had some old ones, but hey, I got some curtains now, and they're maroon like uh, the like you would have in a theater. So hey, you know me, I gotta have a theater look. Back here behind me is the closet that you can see halfway. Uh, my son said to get some more like this over here and put them up right there. So I'll probably be doing that eventually next time around. But I got some VHS's I got from uh, Welcome Back Collectibles. Got a hell of a deal. I got the friend discount. Yes, the friend discount. Uh, really good deal from uh, Larry at Welcome Back Collectibles. If you've never went to Welcome Back Collectibles in Tazewell, check them out. And I'm going to show you a card right here where you can uh, go to his Facebook page. You got a phone number there. Call him up. Maybe he'll do some uh, online orders. And send you some stuff, man, because he's got a little bit of everything. He's got DVDs, he's got VHS, he's got toys, vintage stuff. Just you name it, he's got it. Great place to check out in Tazewell, Virginia. First thing we're going to show off is from uh, Welcome Back Collectibles. Now, I was down there. He had some uh, movie posters. They are original from the 80s, but they're not like what you would think. 27 by 41, the original one sheets. These are smaller ones. I've never seen them before in my life but I had to have some of them. He had 40 of them there, or maybe 45, 50. I picked out like 19 that I want, and they're pretty expensive, most of them, but then he had a few that was kind of, you know, a little bit cheaper hand, and I had to pick what I could pick from that. So there is plenty more that I'd like to get uh, from Larry, but these are the two that I picked up right now. Now this one is a uh, happy birthday to me. It looks gigantic in this uh, video, as you can tell but it's not really, they're just long and skinny. So um, yeah, this is a one that I loved when I was growing up and I got this movie on uh, DVD. But if you can tell sideways, you can probably see how, you know, the whole thing there. But yeah, it's never been uh, tacked or anything, but finding a frame for these kinds would be kind of difficult in case I got them specialized frames. So yeah, that's a uh, happy birthday to me. And the other one I got was War Games. You can see right there, at the top there. This one had Matthew Broderick and uh, Ali Sheedy in. This was a, not really like a really action-packed movie or anything, but it was just a favorite of mine that I loved when I was growing up in the 80s. But yeah, these are, I don't know, they're, they're smaller sizes, but they're, you know, I, I don't remember ever seeing any of these out, and they're really good shape. And uh, like I said, he had plenty plenty more down there that I would love to get off of him and uh, I definitely will have to go back and get some off of him one day uh, but if anybody knows anything about them size posters they're long and skinny and uh, they take up less room they, they remind me of a mini poster but most mini posters now are um, I think 11 by 17 so that's a little bit bigger and everything but I, I would love to get them framed and going to have them put them up in the uh, movie room eventually Okay, it's time for the VHS for you tape heads out there. I picked up 14 tapes off of them for 19 bucks. He really wanted 20, but I only had 19 in cash and I had another bill that he didn't want to break. So he said, give me the 19. It's the friend's discount. I said, shoot, got to have the friend's discount. So let's jump into it and see what I got. The uh, first one I got was Video Treasures Invaders from Mars. This is a Toby Hooper film. I haven't seen this in many moons. I've definitely got to check it out again. It's been a long time since I've seen it, but that cover alone is great. I think they've been, I think they put it on Blu-ray here recently, but I'm not really for sure, but I got the old VHS of it. Good stuff. Next up was uh, Prison. Now I have never seen this one either. I always wanted it. Uh, most places I've seen or online or whatever, I've seen it kind of expensive at times. I think it was hard to find at one time, but now they've been, I think it put it on Blu-ray here recently, so that kind of knocked down the value there. Um, some more that I picked up. This one was another one like that too. This is Mausoleum. Uh, this was kind of rare to get at one time too, but been put on Blu-ray and stuff since then, so it's kind of knocked the value down too. 
Hey, this one is kind of rare, but not really on VHS. This is Shadow of the Va uh, Vampire, uh, John Malkovich and William Defoe. Blu-ray and DVDs are kind of high online from anywhere from $50 to $100, crazy. But you can find these, this one pretty cheap for about 10 bucks, but I got it even cheaper than that. I always wanted to see this. I got excited when I saw that he had it. The Legend of Blood Castle. Never heard of this one. Look at the cover though. I had to pick it up for as cheap as I got these other ones. Don't know anything about it. If you know anything about this one, let me know. Really cool cover on that one. The Legacy. I had this one at one time, but it had a different cover back probably five, six years ago when I lived in Fredericksburg. But uh, I gave it away or something happened, traded it or something, I don't really for sure. But this one's got a different cover and looks pretty cool. So for the deal that I got, I had to pick it up. And it's the MC, uh, home, MCA home video. Check that one out. Bad moon, baby. I've, I've seen this one online quite a bit, but never picked it up. Uh, usually on the DVD, but got the VHS copy of this. So I definitely got a lot of goodies that I haven't seen that I'm going to have to check out soon. Demons 2. What can I say about this movie? Look at the cover along. It's just great to pick up from the cover. Dario Argento. I don't have Demons 1. Look at the back. That green. Come on, man. Even though if you don't never collect VHS, you got to think of no, but This kind of sucks. It's just white, but... The cover in the front and the cover in the back, that green, that just sets it off big time. So I had to grab it too. Next one is a screener copy. This is Sorority House Massacre 2. Don't know nothing about it, but it's got some chicks on the front of it and it's got somebody trying to kill them. So why not throw it in the bunch? And I know what you're gonna say. This movie sucks, but it does have an awesome cover. And hell, I already have the first three on VHS, so might as well get the fourth one. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation. Look at the cover, just the cover alone. Y'all yeah, know Matthew McConaughey's in it and he's retarded and Renee Zellweger looks retarded in it. It's not that great of a movie, but look at the cover, I had to get it. Another one that I had to pick up, I have it on DVD, but it does not have this awesome cover. This is the original cover that I remember as a kid growing up and I saw it on HBO all the time. And just cause, you know, it was so cheap, I had to pick it up. It's a Embassy Home Entertainment tape, a Swamp Plane. I mean, just look at the great cover there. I had to pick this one up. Cause it's a Swamp Thing. I always wanted this. I have, uh, what's the sequel to it? The, uh, it's over there somewhere, The Return of the Swamp Thing. So hell, might as well put it on the shelf right next to it too and um, add to the collection. And these last three are adding to complete uh, set. I'm not really for sure if this is actually all of them. I have uh, Children of the Corn 1, 2, 3, and 4 on VHS. So when I seen this, this is the first one I seen when I got there. This is part five and it's called uh, Fields of Terror. I had to add that to the collection. And he had number six. Isaac's Return, which is 666. Somebody wrote something on it, JD. I don't know, I might have to try to clean that off, but this is the only one he had of that. He had two of part five. And the last one is called Re uh, Revelation. I think this might be the seventh one, I'm not for sure. And if that's not all of them, then let me know. I thought I have all of them now. Uh, there might be another one out there or two, who knows. That's the VHS, and let's see what I got for Christmas. Now, this is what I got for Christmas from Rhonda. Um, she knew I had a CDS 1 and 2 and we talked about part 3 and I haven't seen it since I went to the theater the first time to see it. So she picked up on Blu-ray and CDS 3. So I'm excited to see this one. I haven't seen it in a long time. Um, like I said, I just rewatched 1 and 2 and I actually think these movies are actually scarier than The Conjuring. So can't wait to dig back into this and check this one out again. So now I have all three. Or is actually, is there a fourth one out now? I think there might be a fourth one. Not really for sure. If it is, I haven't seen it, but I have seen this one. I took my kids to the theater and saw it, um, I guess about a year or two ago when it came out. Maybe, maybe it's been two or three years. I don't know how long. And this last one Rhonda picked up for me too on DVD is the collector's edition. It's the Flintstones. Now I told her I like the Flintstones. I'd love to have the whole set of the cartoons, but she found the movie and this came out, I think in 94. I remember going to the theater and saw this when it first came out. So uh, yeah, it's got John Goodman in it and Rick Moranis. Rosie O'Donnell and um, what was it other Elizabeth Perkins. So yeah, gotta have love the Flintstones. 
But there's the back of that. Oh, that was a big collection update. I really haven't had a really big collection update in a long time. You got DVD, you had a Blu-ray, you had a lot of VHS for really cheap from uh, a good buddy at Welcome Back Collectibles. I have uh, the movies, the movie posters too, I should say. I got curtains in the movie room now and I got a bigger TV. I got that little TV still and I'm gonna put it back here somewhere on the stand where you can see it and maybe play a, a movie here and there on it. It does have a built-in DVD player. So that would be cool to see in the background playing some movie and you gangsters out there can guess what the hell's playing on the, the screen back there. I have to play DVDs on it though because it's got a DVD player built in it and don't have a VHS. I'd love to find one with the, the VCR built in them too though. Maybe have one on each side. We've got like cinema sickness or something, have damn TVs everywhere. But that's the collection update. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Till next time.